Today I'm in Washington, D.C. at AwesomeCon, a comic convention where people come from all over the country to see actors they like, artists they like, comic book writers, and dress up and enjoy themselves. Today we're going to be talking to some convention goers about uh, their view on the Cosplay is Not Consent movement, which uh, deals with harassment that many cosplayers receive when they are dressed up, specifically uh, women oftentimes when they're wearing uh, not a lot of clothing, which uh, most of the time is accurate costumes from comic books and movies. AwesomeCon has a very strict zero tolerance policy about harassment, which is outlined on their website and in the booklet that you receive when you register and get your badge. And there are also signs all over the place saying that it's a zero tolerance harassment zone and to report any harassment to the volunteers around, which are pretty much everywhere. Harassment includes, but is not limited to, verbal comments that reinforce social structures of domination related to gender, gender identity and expression, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, age, religion, deliberate intimidation, stalking, following, harassing, photography or recording, sustained disruption of talks or other events, inappropriate physical content, and unwelcome sexual attention. We've had situations where like guys will grab or they think it's okay to put hands somewhere else. Even in like costumes that are c completely covered like Spider-Girl, just not okay. But um, so far, ever since the whole cosplay is not consent rule went into effect, security has been amazing at every con I've gone to. Not realizing that it was such a problem really put a damper on the whole concept because, you know, I don't do this to... You know, other than anything other than to express, you know, myself as creatively, show off some creative talent, and that's what everybody else does. So I, I think it's awesome, but to put such an ugly cloud over it just makes me sad. You know, you get you get some snide remarks sometimes, depending upon like, like people don't know who I am first of all. So I mean, you always got like you know people that like you, I mean, or you know like what you you're dressed as. But you also got like, you know, other people making like snide remarks sometimes. Uh, I was cosplaying as Ursula and I had a fella kind of follow me around and take pictures without asking. Um, and again, cosplay is not consent. Please ask before you take a picture. Um, and then made some sort of weird comment about my corset being very low and it was very exciting. And that was sort of really icky. Um, so that wasn't cool. So I kind of stopped him and said, hey, can you like delete that picture? Because you didn't ask me to take that at all. Um, so unfortunately, and that was on the street. That was not in the con. So. No shade here, but outside, yeah. So. Traditionally, more of the uncomfortable experiences tend to happen to women, uh, but uh, I haven't observed any uncomfortable situations. Well, I have observed a couple uh, uncomfortable situations, but they've been promptly shut down and dealt with. This is my first costume, and as you can see, it isn't very revealing, and I haven't had any attention, unwanted attention, or anyone taking pictures without asking first, so. I guess it depends on the costume. It's not the convention's fault if someone is a little too pushy because that's just the nature of public events. Um, in the past, there's been a few incidents, but nothing that the con could have prevented. I feel like they've already doing a great job doing what they're doing. I haven't experienced it, but I know other cosplayers, especially females, where they'll sit there and guys will just go up or like take pictures specifically of inappropriate bodies and not ask them. Or they'll put their arms around you without asking or they'll hug on to you and it just makes it uncomfortable so the fact that cosplay isn't consent basically it's like guys will sit there and say oh she's asking for it well because she's obviously because like how I'm dressed it people would say the same thing too but in this sense I've had people yesterday ask can I put my arm around you can I do this and it's so nice it's really nice of them so it just makes cosplayers feel more safe I guess in a sense I've been going to Awesome Con since the very first one, and I feel like they've always been really respectful of cosplayers and uh, of encouraging people to have a welcoming, safe space so no one's going to assault you or harass you or like nag you for photos. I think they've been doing a pretty good job. Yes, I think they're great. Um, I feel actually much more comfortable because those rules are in place. Um, I, you know, part, I wouldn't dress in a cleavage -y outfit if I wasn't okay with it, but there are some people who think that because my cleavage is showing that means they can do whatever they want and they can't and I like that Awesome Con has rules about that. I think the rules Awesome Con currently has in place are fantastic because I think cosplay should be a safe place for people. It should be a place where people can really be able to express themselves creatively without fear of harassment and being able to make sure that those rules are in place and very visible and are enforced really makes 
really makes the con experience a lot uh, more enjoyable for a bunch of different people. I think it's really excellent that they have signs placed all around saying that cosplay is not consent and also that if you feel harassed that there's a place for you to go. Um, I've been to many a con where I've seen women being objectified via people around taking pictures or inappropriate pictures and I feel like women didn't know where to go to say hey what do I do about this? I work at the Renaissance Festival so <laughs> it's kind of where I live um, but it's you know there are no rules about consent at the Renaissance Festival and I can definitely see the difference in how people act um, when you know they they're trying to avoid being thrown out of a convention versus at a Renaissance Festival where everybody's drunk anyway. I've been to Baltimore Comic Con and believe it or not I did not hear about anything at Baltimore Comic Con being cosplay is not consent. I didn't see signs. I didn't see if you're feeling harassed go here or call here or do whatever. I've been to many many other conventions and they do have similar rules it's about how the con goes about enforcing it whether there's volunteer staff frequently around for you to talk to if you need help they do a decent job I've never been to a convention that felt like there was no one who cared that you were going through something I think that I've never been to a con that wasn't that welcoming I've been to a few other cons in Miami and uh, the rules at awesome con the really the big difference is that the rules exist in other places but they're not so visibly advertised and uh, been to other cons where the rule, if you look in the pamphlet, technically the rule's there, but it's not, there aren't like any signs uh, as widely placed. So I really think the big difference is not necessarily in the rules themselves, but how they're enforced and how visible they are. I think a lot of people's problems are with conventions that a lot of the superhero-based costumes are very skimpy on women, and instead of trying to ban certain costumes, they should teach people to be better at not being touchy. I, I do like that, you know, some cons advertise, you know, cosplay is not consent and that it's there. Um, I think some people take it too lightly because they don't have to deal with the problems of it. Um, but it's really sad because, you know, it needs to be taken seriously. It, I mean, everybody here is young. You know, we have people of all ages and some people have the, you know, best of intentions and they don't know any better and that's going to be dangerous. I definitely think that there should be something highly solidified by cons all over the United States and international saying this is not these are our rules and if you don't consent to them then you're either immediately removed or there's some sort of severe repercussion um, especially when it becomes sexual assault and when women feel unsafe um, however I think that cons have these kind of general rules where it's like we have rules here and then we don't have rules here and then there's rules about this here and there I think if they made a huge like, I don't know, legislature kind of thing about it, saying cons everywhere follow this, and this is exactly what we should be following and how we should be respecting not only ourselves but fellow cosplayers. I think that would be excellent. As long as there's someone to report what's happening to, as long as the place is being well personnel, like, I feel like it's fine. I look at it as common sense, and it's set, you would think. Um, but if you want a picture, more you're more than welcome to ask. If you want to put an arm around a cosplayer, just say, hey, can I do this? Because some people do have problems with touching. It is absolutely inappropriate to, to take pictures or uh, without permission. And, you know, and if it is done, if there is a complaint, then there has to be a reprimand. And uh, next time it happens, uh, the person, their badge is confiscated and they have to leave the con, you know? You know, not three strikes, you're out, maybe two chances and you're out of that con. Thank you.